At a Democratic forum sponsored by the Democratic Women of Bernalillo County, voters were able to see and hear from the candidates face to face. Candidate Michelle Lujan Grissom, former State House Secretary, says that events like this are beneficial because you get the chance to talk to real constituents. We to talk to constituents about real issues. Um, we work together about lifting our aspirations and identifying uh, what's going to make a difference and securing a future for our children. Uh, if I were going to identify any aspect of campaigning that I think most candidates are somewhat disenfranchised with, is that you, you spend too much time probably raising money and not enough time doing this and talking to voters about what's important to them. The candidates running for public office can tell you how much work it takes getting your name out there. It takes asking strangers for their signatures, asking for money, and even getting kicked out of grocery parking lots. Candidate Robert Pitcock, an attorney here in Albuquerque, known as the rookie in the race, recalls Certainly one day when he was asked to leave a grocery store parking someone, lot. But it, just to go up to somebody I don't know and ask them for something, is, is really, really difficult. So I think I started at a neighbor's house. I've been thrown out of parking lots at grocery stores. I met some people that just said, you know, you even have to leave the parking lot in front of the entire shopping center. You can't be here. Um, and at some point, I, I realized that, you know, you can't let people do that, that this is a requirement under the law. You have to be able to do it in a public place somewhere. I mean, you just have to be able to. For some experienced but candidates, like former Secretary of State Rebecca Vigil Hiron, campaigning is merely a walk in the park. Well, I, I, don't, I don't really find anything really difficult about running for public office because it gives me an opportunity to speak to people one-on-one. -on -one. It also gives me an opportunity to, to understand what some of the issues are that are being debated out uh, in, in Congress. And, and so learning the issues, because I'm not going to be an expert on everything, and I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on everything. Frontrunner Martin Heinrich believes that no matter who wins with the Democratic president, things will be easier in Congress. We need diplomacy again. If anything, in, uh, in the Middle East, we need a diplomatic surge. And we've had a White House uh, that hasn't been willing to talk to other countries. That's going to change with a, with a uh, uh, Democratic president. We're going to have the policies at the House and Senate that are going to be able to move on to the president's desk and get signed instead of get vetoed. It's an opportunity for great change, the kind of change that only comes along once in a generation. At the forum, the candidates were asked where they stand on important topics. Here is what they had to say. When it comes to their position on the Iraq war, Heinrich said that the United States should never have gone to Iraq and Congress needs to set time limits in the appropriation bills. Grisham said that there has to be a declaration that the war is officially over and that the U.S. needs to rebuild credibility to help fight threats in the Middle East. Pitcock said that the U.S. needs to end the war today and can support the troops best by bringing them home. Vigil Hiron said to pull out the troops as soon as possible, but being strategic is the key. When it comes to their position on immigration, Heinrich said that undocumented immigrants should pay fines and be channeled toward the legal immigration system. Grissom said that many industries in New Mexico profit from undocumented workers. To address immigration issues, legislation should focus on accountability of employers. Pidcock said federal law should be changed to reflect the desire of immigrants to come to the United States. He also said Arizona's attempts to solve this problem, taking business licenses from businesses found to have undocumented workers, is a good start at addressing illegal immigration. The Hill Hidon says that securing our borders is most important and the government needs to respect those who are already here. The Democratic pre-primary selection will be held in Rio Rancho on March 15th, when delegates will choose who's eligible for the official Democratic candidacy. The primary election will be held June 3rd. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, I'm Christina Lovato.